guys, I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition and braces for women over 40. Today I'm going to take you with me into the office to show you what they do when they tighten braces. I'm going to get my braces tightened for the very first time, so I'll be as surprised as you are and let's just see if they let me in again. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hey you guys, we're here at the office and I'm about to go in. Hopefully we can do some filming inside, we will see. I think I might have to get like a Starbucks card or something. But I wanted to show you again what my teeth look like before I get tightened. Okay, today we're gonna go 18 by 18, ultra okay. soft upstairs, yep. go ahead. And we're gonna separate lower sixes because we're gonna have to put bands on those okay last time it was pretty tough to get those all right then let's go there. ahead and let's put some two tubes here let's two bond tubes. some tubes okay. together let's go. and right here you're gonna hear dr brigham talking about um those spacers again adding those little rubber rings to the in between my teeth remember the last visit she was trying to floss those spacers in between and my teeth are just too close together he went ahead and opted for tubes which essentially seem like they're kind of like a bracket like you've seen put on before but they have a little hook and then later on down the road he's going to be putting rubber bands on them and i think what they will end up doing is pulling my teeth apart so the wire on the top okay those little balls that, that he built up on my or that she built the up turbos. on my teeth yep. yeah the turbos could it be possible that they could be damaging my bottom teeth? I mean, I chew on them a lot. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Like I like without food, doing it like a habit. Right. Okay. Because, I mean, they're they're basically the only things that you're biting on. Right. right. Like you're not making any contact with other teeth. Well, um, I think I might still be making a little bit of contact with um, my front tooth to okay. this to a bracket right down here. I'm hoping you're not gonna have to build it up anymore because I really want those off so I can enjoy food again. Oh. Uh, the turbos are driving me a little nuts. Can you tell if I'll be able to be getting them off pretty soon? Oh, I'll take a look at your bite. Oh, good, oh, okay. He's gonna take a look Thank at your you. bite. Apparently it doesn't happen as super quick oh. to get them off. I know, I know. Luckily they're not too big. Is this a lavender color? Mm-hmm. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yay, I was like looking for the clear ones thinking you just wanted clear. Why not spice it up a bit? So today what we'll do too is we'll do this wire, the new wire, 18 by 20, or 18 by 18 ultra soft. We'll put it all the way into the sixes. Uh-huh. So that's gonna be the tubes in the back there. So there are tubes in the back already? Uh-huh, yeah, on the top here. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. So yeah. I feel like there's more room because I can tell when I floss. You oh, know? okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to measure this wire here. This wire is going to be just a little bit thicker. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yep. Is it going to cause more pain when I go home? Mm, you might be a little sore, okay. but nothing too bad. It's kind of long in the back, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to trim it here. I can already feel it's tighter. When that wire, will it go into my gum if I don't keep it lifted? Like the last time I felt like, could it be like hanging into my gum? Sometimes it'll poke your gums. It's it's okay. okay. The gum's gonna heal super okay. quickly, especially, you know, being in the mouth. And but I can like take that. my fingers and kind of pull, oh, yeah. pull it up or something yeah, if I absolutely. need to. Okay. And you okay. can even take like a, um, like a nail, a nail tool. You go to the store and get like a cuticle cutter. Uh -huh. It's very similar to oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and just kind of bend it a little bit or if, if you're out somewhere and you know you have no access to to come in and get it fixed we don't want it to be dangling let's say you've got a wire or a bracket that's just like hanging out and you can't get to an ortho just take it and you can just cut the wire and then come in and we'll fix it for you if a rubber band comes loose before i come in like it you can tell that it's come over the bracket like yeah. i thought that one did i thought i had one that was over the bracket let me see 
No, these ones, these ones look good. Ah, but if one of these quick sticks, you mean, comes off? What's a quick stick? Oh, the the little bands. So oh, the color, yeah. the lavender color. Yeah, is that like something that I would have to rush in for, or can I just? So you just want to be super careful if if one of these bands and the colors do come off. Uh -huh. You just want to then pay attention to the tooth. Um, cause if you start to see the tooth, if it's, you know, if the wire becomes unlodged, then the tooth has a potential to shift back or shift in a, in a ah. different way because it's not secured by that yeah. color or by that band. Okay. So you just want to be careful and, and watch it. Uh -huh. Um, if you have an appointment in a couple of days, it'll be okay to not have that quick stick on there. If your appointment, you know, if it came off later today after you left here and you didn't have an appointment for a couple of weeks, then I would suggest coming in okay. and, and getting it fixed. That way the tooth, if it, you know, it doesn't shift out of okay. place. Okay, right. And then oftentimes if it does shift way out of place, then we have to move down in wires to go and get it. Oh, you know? gee. You know, you don't, we don't want to move backwards uh -uh. for sure. Especially after all the progress you've already made. Mm. Ah, I can feel the tightness, that's for sure. Putting the rubber bands on. We watched the video of you getting your braces during during our lunch break. It was so fun. We want to make sure that the wire is fully slotted into the bracket, and where you get that tension and you can you can feel it. It's real snug. Okay. Yeah. Good. I know. Eventually, you're gonna when you when it doesn't feel snug or like it's it's tight, mm -hmm. you're gonna start to feel like are, is anything happening? But it definitely, it definitely is. It looks great. Just to see here. Okay, I'm gonna replace these colors on the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these same tubes that you have on the top here. Mm. We're gonna put those on these bottom molars right here. Okay. Just on this side. Okay. And that's for a rubber band? So eventually you'll be able to wear rubber bands off of those because you'll see see how this one has a hook uh -huh. right here. Yes, I so noticed then, that. Yeah, you'll hook the rubber band. Um, what does that do? The rubber band is going to help with your jaw positioning. I'll place these colors and then we'll get those molars prepped for those tubes. So the reason we're not changing the wire on the bottom, can you see this tooth right here, how it's not... The wire isn't fully engaged mm -hmm. in that bracket, mm -hmm. um, so it's that tooth is slowly coming out. The when we tie it in, and so we may even before it was only hooked on the one. Today we're gonna try and hook it on, the, on both brackets there. Yeah, that and that's why we're not moving to a thicker wire ah. because we're slowly trying to get that tooth to to come out ah. and engage with the wire. Okay, so the top one, how are they moving even? Because I feel like they're already close together. What are they doing? Just pulling out? Yeah. Okay. And just, you know, just rotating. Okay. You know, the way that Dr. Brigham placed the bracket on the tooth, it's going to specifically rotate ah. the tooth a, a certain way. And then sometimes it, you know, it calls for repositioning of, of the bracket. And so we may have to take the bracket off depending on how the tooth is sitting. We'll have to take the bracket off and reposition it so that it can, it can rotate and move exactly how he wants it. So oh, just, wow. You can sometimes reposition the bracket. Oh yeah, ah, absolutely. So like, let's say that eventually when this tooth is out and straight, if the bracket is not, positioned ideally we can just pop it off replace it with a new one and get it in the perfect position and like this see how this wire wants to lay straight like this yes <laughs> but in order because that tooth is a little bit back uh -huh. we want to push that wire in fully engage it in the bracket And then eventually that tooth is going to slide forward like that and the, the wire will be straight. And that's how we can kind of tell when you're ready to move on to the next wire sequence is there won't be 
such an intense curve in the wire here. As these bottom teeth start moving out, mm -hmm. then I won't bite on it or what? You know, right. see it? Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna ask Dr. Brigham too. We do have specific quick sticks that I can put on here that create sort of like a bumper. Then once we put those on, it might be a little bit more comfortable for you. Can we take a look? When she bites down, can we put some bumpers? Good, yeah, put some bumpers on okay. that. That'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, that'll give her a little bit more comfort. Yeah. Mm. Also, want you to prep up open yeah uh, prep up the six and seven I, those are both crowns okay so they're going to need porcelain the, the, the porcelain yeah. okay so get excellent moisture control okay mm -hmm. It's very similar to the, the the bands that are on your teeth right now. However, it does have a little bumper, so it kind of looks like a little, like a ring. Okay. Can you see it? I'm gonna place it. It's clear, yeah. so but let's see. So let me try and pop a color back on there so that it doesn't look like it's a missing one. It's the same thing, but it has a little bumper, a clear, clear bumper right here that's just allowing your teeth to kind of bounce down yes. or rest on something other than that bracket. You you now have tubes on both your back molar. Wire is not going into those tubes. So let's say, especially on this side, because those are porcelain teeth. Porcelain teeth, they oftentimes, just because of the material and they're not actual tooth material, uh -huh. the, the tubes may come off. If that happens, not to worry and it's not even an emergency appointment huh. because the wire's not even going in there. If we're letting these solidify and, and stay bonded to the tooth without a wire in there because that'll just create extra friction. Okay. And it may pop the pop the tube off too early because we just put them on. That's why when we do the brackets we put a very light wire on to start so that there's nothing pushing on the bracket that was just freshly bonded to the tooth. There isn't a wire in there, so if they do come off, not to worry, we'll just either put it back on the next time or try a different method of, you know, trying to do the spacers and then get a band on there. Okay. Then he said the next time you'll be doing two more molars? Two more molars. So these top teeth back here, uh -huh. you have them on what are your first molars, the tubes uh -huh. right here uh -huh. that the wire's in. Uh -huh. Now you just need them in the back here on the sevens. Okay. So your second molars back okay. there. Yep. Okay, so there's a couple of molars back there that are still flossable without... Correct. Okay. Fine, you're still flossable back there. Because the wire goes all the way back into this first molar. So okay. you can floss right here all right. unless you weave it through. Uh -huh. But you're, you're good to go in the one in the back. Okay. We did... The, the tubes on these back teeth so no spacers today um, and that's just an, a different a different route that people could go if, if we can't get the spacers in we put these these tubes 
and the wire will eventually go through those tubes. Oh, so that's not even, so I don't have to get the spacers now. No, nope. only time that you would need to, let's say that these porcelain teeth aren't going to hold these band, uh -huh. these tubes, mm -hmm. um, which sometimes that's the case. Sometimes mm -hmm. they just, it's just impossible to bond to them. You yeah. need a really strong material and the way that they're shaped and because they're so smooth and they don't have the actual anatomy of a tooth, uh -huh. oftentimes things will just fall off. Of yeah. Them. Um, same thing happens with Invisalign brackets, you know, whatever you're trying to do just because okay. it's not an actual tooth. In that case, if these don't stay on, we may have to put spacers on and try to fit a band around it. Uh -huh. We did tubes on the bottom and yeah, you've got a new arch wire on top. And okay, am I all set? Yeah, you oh, are good to go. Thank you. Of course. Well, I just got out of the orthodontist. Excited that I got this little bumper put on. It is so more, so, so much more comfortable to bite down. Just having that little bumper on that tooth so that this tooth doesn't hit this bracket. I thought I was going to go in there and they were going to be like, you know, your camera's getting in the way and we have to use the light and all of that stuff. I just thought it was going to be like, no, we don't really want you to film. And I can't believe how welcoming they were, guys. They like watched the video during their lunch hour the last time and they are totally willing to like give up all kinds of information in order to help you guys out. So, and to help me out. And I thought, hey, that is so cool. I really hope you enjoyed that trip to the orthodontist with me. I hope it helped you out. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave those in the comments below. If you're brand new to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a thing. And um, until next time, guys, God bless you. And remember to live, laugh, and love. See you next time.